So, a student asked me to send him some suggestion for this uh, Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas solo guitar finger style, or hybrid style, pick and fingers. Um, so I thought, you know, okay. So the song, assuming that you know the changes in the key of C and the melody, the first two things a student have to know. Uh, and then uh, he tried to put the things together with some harmonization, some, you know, runs, passages and stuff. So uh, the song pretty much at the beginning, it's uh, all 1625, the whole turnaround. Have yourself a merry little Christmas, do la D minor, D7. So oh, very old, the uh, old style turnaround. So well, at the beginning, I don't do anything special. C major, but then I go up in fifth position. That prepares me for the next chord. That's where you start doing something interesting. So here I would do a C6 to an F6, a C6 to an F6. So I harmonize the D minor seven using C6 and F6. For more about this. Um, I guess I will expand on uh, the Barry Harris method um, on the guitar. So every time you have like a D minor seven, that's also F major six, same notes. So you can treat it like a major chord and it's dominant will be C. Don't ha doesn't have to be a dominant seven. I don't like C seven to a F seven. You can do it. I like the delicate, you know, major six. Art Tatum used that all the time and it sounded great. So just then an F over G or G sus, whatever you want to call it. B diminished in place of G7, you know, it's G7 flat nine basically. Just to change the bass, and kind of like the bass goes up in thirds. And then you go 
go here. Be minor 11. At this point, I would do like a triton substitution on G7 and play kind of like a D flat 7, flat 5. Really, I'm not thinking that. I'm just thinking, okay, I'm going to go down with these two notes. These two notes, D and A become D flat and A flat. And the notes on the bottom, can I go up? I like contrary motion. Wow, that's great. That's the third of D flat for the seven of G seven. So, na 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 D minor at eleven, and then this chord, the same soprano. Okay, now we are start from the third melody. is very easy. It's the arpeggio. It's a, you see, this song is like so, so basic, but so beautiful at the same time because you can do a lot. So here. Another contrary motion. Go up with the melody, go down with uh, the scale from C. B, A, and then next is G. In this case, I'm going to use an open G. That allows me some time, you know, uh, makes, uh, give me the freedom, you know, of going to the next chord easier. In this case, I go to a G6. I go to a G6 in, in the chord that would be, uh, uh, in this case, uh, B F diminished. Okay, B F diminished. It's also a G7 with a nine. Hmm? So I can use a G7 or a G6. So in this case, it's not even that the six is not even there. Is a G major. Okay, I use a G major. Then goes to F major, which also fits D minor seven and B F diminished, because he's got the seventh, hmm, the flat five, and the passing note this C. So I can I can use, you know, the, well the two in C, but the two of the majors so is uh, in D minor seven, and the B diminished are very related. Uh, D minor, uh, uh, B diminished is also D minor six. So I like to treat it like in the first A, where I play. Uh, this is the f D, this is the first A. Okay. Actually, in the first A, it doesn't go to F diminished. You stay still D minor, but that's not a big difference. That's not any difference. The difference become later. So I go F six now G seven. Now I have in the melody T La Sol Fa Mi. But this time it's on the Mi. On the third, you know, you have the turnaround again, 3 6 2 5 version. So, how I'm harmonizing this, I can do everything F G, F G, F G. I can do everything uh, G7. I can use the whole tone scale. And I can always use the dominant of the G7. So, what I do, I do. G, F, G7, and here, instead of doing, I could do F7, I could do F7, okay? So it could be, you know, and that, but you can also do, you could do F sharp here on the bass, that would be more like a D7. And then I will go to this kind of whole tone feel, G7. So I only have the, th the seventh and the third. And then I go down to F7, just like. Remember, whole tone scale, you can do all that, you can do. case I could do is even starting from here but I prefer doing like that change a, a little bit so here G F G7 D7 G7 F7 going to E so the F7 
the F7 works really well because you, you're going to E minor 7. It's not a really E minor 7 though, it's a C major, the turn on the bass. But we kind of like doing F7, we kind of imply, you know, the flat 3 diminish, uh, you know, it could be. And going to the flat diminish, going into the one with the third on the bass. You have that a lot in many songs. Sometimes the flat 3 diminish goes to the 2, in this case it goes to, to the 3, minor 7, or 1, the third in the bass. So anyway, I thought that that was like a nice harmonization. Now that also here, the voice leading is interesting because I play, uh, you know, this E flat will resolve, want to resolve into E. It makes it sound like a C. And if I resolve it into D is better. Uh, so you have like, it's better because it's less obvious. And also, you know, it's very popular. A lot of jazz players use that. So you use, use that uh, six, two, and then five. Second A, na, 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 na. same thing. Da, 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 da. Now it's the same, the BF, now is the BF diminished, D minor, 6, G7, G, F, G, F, actually, D, G7, D7, and, and now I do a, a G sharp diminished, no, no, this become uh, the dominant the relative minor, it has to be the G sharp diminished. Second time na, 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 goes to A minor seven. If now you go down half step, it would kind of like a, what some people call it uh, the the Lady Bird turnaround. It's not really because you start from the third. Bob Powell used to do it all the time. So you have A minor. As an F. Na, 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 na. Okay. Na, A flat. Na, na. Now, but Powell sometimes would do, <laughs> keep going in the circle of fifth, we'll do B flat. In this case, I don't know, we'll go at G minor 11. And then G flat 7, flat 5, in place of C7. It's still a turnaround. Okay, the only thing is three, flat three, two, and flat two. Hmm? You go down. Okay, I don't know if you ever came across that, but that's what it is. That's okay. Now we go to the four. So if the one dominant, take it to the four. So you have. Go to the three again. And now, but we diminish again. They're going to the two this time. D minor seven, G seven flat nine, and C. What do I? Well, here I like to do. I call this bass down move. A lot of time when <coughs> so many songs. So you go down with the bass. We go down to the flat five. So you go. Do, di, la, sol, fi. There we have the half diminish. Going to the seven. Both of these, they are in the family of the flat three diminish. It's a way to kind of like go to the three again famous three that is not the three. 
So, uh, no, no, it's a, no, 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 here's the C. I start from G, G, F, E, D, C, B, A, G, F sharp, no, and then the melody, no, 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 no. Oh, here, and E minor, now the six. Like going to the five E minor A seven. Now here, the melody uh, does uh, something. Well, we're on the D seven, two dominant basically. So you have the seven. When, when you have the ninth, you, you want to harmonize it with the A minor six. Here you go to, to like an 11, D minor 11, if you want to call it like that, and an augmented chord, G7 sharp 5. the melody goes up to the fa instead of going down it goes no no so do mi mi so do mi fa and here i would use Three notes, D minor six, D minor seven. It's dominant. D minor seven, and here another D minor seven on F six, because they both know they both uh, uh, chord tones, so they use the same, you know. So, so. Seven, you have the three dominant. Mm -hmm. We go into the E seven, go to A minor seven. Now we do again that turnaround that goes down from the third chromatically A flat, some kind of A flat. I'm not thinking too much now. I'm going down just with the fingers uh, and and with the, and keep the same. And you land on the F major six. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Right here, Christmas. You can prolong this. Case Merry Little Christmas at G7, so A minor, A flat, G minor, and then nice some some song of C7. Uh, Chuck Wayne used to do this a lot, and then here have yourself also a very simple melody. Just like it's like me in F, there will be T, so do me so T do me so T do. So you know you have whatever chord tone you can do to go to along with it. Now 
here and also on the F. Here I did a sequence with C, and then I go to F minor, again, down to C, C, F minor, C, C. and go to C. You can always do that, C, F minor. C, F minor, C, F minor, C. <laughs> I was thinking about something. F minor. You can use drop three. I was doing all drop two. Now drop three. Oh. Different chords. We can do any of these. Okay, so ho hopefully I gave you some good ideas, a little longer than what I thought, uh, to harmonize a song based on the old turnaround, really, uh, and with some nice moments in the bridge on the ending. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below, or you can contact me for lessons if you're interested. Otherwise, enjoy and uh, good practice. <laughs>